In problem 15 of the set of solved problems on continuous functions, we study a function f, which is defined on the closed interval from a to b. Its values are in the closed interval from c to d. We assume that f is continuous and one-to-one. -one. Our task is to show that f is monotonic. One-to-one -one means injective. It means that uh, f takes um, a given point in the interval from c to d, at most at uh, one point in the interval from a to b. So we assume this and we claim that f is monotonic. We prove this by contradiction. We assume that uh, if f is not monotonic, then we get an, a contradiction. So we have to show that f is either increasing or decreasing. If f is neither, if we have the situation of this assumption that f is not monotonic, then it is increasing at some parts of the interval from a to b, and decreasing at some other parts. It cannot be uh, constant because f is assumed to be one to one. This means that uh, we can find x1, x2, and x3 such that a is less than x1, less than x2, less than x3, less than b, and that either f at x1 is less than f at, f at x2, and f at x2 is greater than f at x3. This is a situation when f is first increasing and then decreasing if it is the other way around, then f at x1 is greater than f at x2, and f at x2 is less than f at x3. These two graphs illustrate this situation. If f is first increasing and then decreasing, then its graph uh, looks like uh, the red curve on the left. If it is first decreasing and then increasing, then it looks like the graph on the right. But now if we have this situation that f is first increasing and then decreasing, that is if we, we are in the situation of this pixel on the left, and we take a value t between the maximum of f at x1 and f at x3 and f at x2. So t is between the maximum of these uh, two values of f and the value of f at uh, x2. Such a horizontal line intersects the graph of f at uh, two points. This is by the intermediate value theorem. And uh, likewise, in the second situation, if uh, t is between f at x2 and uh, the minimum of the values f at x1 and f at x3, like here, then the horizontal line y equals t intersects the graph of f at two points by the intermediate value theorem. But this is not possible since f was assumed to be one to one, because in this situation f is um, not one to one in neither one of these situations, and this means that uh, the assumption that f was not monotonic led to a contradiction, and this proves the claim. f must be monotonic. In problem 16, we have to show that the equation cosine of x minus 2x equals 0 has a solution, and we have to approximate that solution with error less than 0 0.01, less than 1 over 100. Here we consider the function f of x equals cosine of x minus 2x. With this notation, f of x equals 0 means that cosine of x minus 2x equals 0. So we have to show that we can the function f takes the value 0 at some point, that means that the solution exists, and then we must approximate that. We observe that cosine of x and 2x are continuous for any real numbers, so therefore f is also continuous for all values. f at 0 is 1, f at 1 is cosine at 1 minus 2, which is uh, negative, and uh, therefore by the intermediate value theorem, there is a point c between 0 and 1 such that uh, f at c is 0. Hence, a solution exists in the interval from 0 to 1. So now our task is to approximate it. So now we know that uh, the solution is between 0 and 1. Then our first approximation of the solution is the midpoint. Now we evaluate f at the midpoint. If it happens to be zero, then we found the solution. But uh, if it is not zero, then it is either positive or negative. 
and and then we look at the, the product f at zero times f at one half if this is negative it means that um, f at zero and f at one half have different signs and then by the intermediate value theorem there's a solution between zero and one half otherwise in general if f at one uh, times f at one half is negative then there is also a solution between one half and one in this particular case f at one times f at one half is positive so there is no solution uh, between one half and one but there is a solution between zero and one half and then we repeat this by making the interval short, shorter and eventually we split the interval in two halves and one of one of these two halves always contains a solution and the solution and the, uh, the interval which contains a solution can be figured out by computing these products of f at the endpoints of the interval if the product is negative then the interval contains a solution by the intermediate value theorem so here we have a graphical view of this situation we are looking at uh, the interval from zero to one and uh, we computed that um, uh, f at uh, zero is one and f at one is negative 1.4 so 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 these are the two values of of um, uh, f that we are looking at the uh, blue dot and the red dot they one is positive one is negative and between these two values there's a solution next we compute uh, f at 0 0.5 it is minus 0 0.12 so this is negative and now between these two red dots we cannot guarantee that there is a solution but we know that between the blue dot and the red dot at uh, 0 0.5 there is a solution so a solution now is between 0 and 0 0.5 so our next approximation of the solution would be the midpoint of this interval 0 0.25 we evaluate the function f at that midpoint we get 0 0.47 so this is now the blue dot indicated here now between this blue dot and the red dot at 0 0.5 there's a solution so now we split that interval into two halves and we evaluate f at 0 0.375 we get 0 0.18 and uh, here is uh, that uh, blue dot and now we know that between 0 0.375 and 0 0.5 there's a solution it's always between these innermost blue and red dots we continue this uh, when uh, x uh, equals 0 0.4375 that is uh, the midpoint of the interval from 0 0.375 to 0 0.5 then the value of f is 0 0.03 so it is this blue dot here and again now the solution is between these innermost blue and red dots we already have a pretty good approximation of the solution if we take uh, the midpoint of this interval we may continue this we get that the solution is approximately 0 0.45 0 0.184 so in this way by using the intermediate value theorem we can solve numerically equations that uh, cannot be solved symbolically so we have no direct formula to solve the equation cosine of x minus 2x equals 0 but we can solve it in this way in this way simply by evaluating the function cosine of x minus 2x at uh, a large number of points this is the power of the intermediate value theorem